His daddy's in the house, Mr. Robert Mama. He took him in when he was a little baby and came out of his mama and he put diapers on him and he taught him how to play these things. Robert Mama. Yeah, you're right. A little baby Mama was doing stuff once upon a time. A little baby Mama, you want something? Go ahead, go ahead. Your daddy's here. at home for the fact that this video here has all of your hits. See, this goes out to all the other bands that are on the Blues Broads channel, okay? I'm worse than a rising star. I'm worse than that, you know. I'm like a supernova. I eclipse rising stars. Like, there's a whole bunch of legitimately talented musicians you guys will never even hear about because I fucking eclipsed them already, man. I don't even know where they are. They're buried in the annals of blue broad channels. You gotta dig down. You gotta dig down to find those cats. You might not believe what I have to say. Take, for example, last year. Okay, uh, I was uh, on a Grammy Award winning record. With my hero, Johnny Winter. Yeah. That was passed down to me from the legacy of Pat Ramsey. Yeah. Like father, like son. That's right. I played with the great Johnny Winter, and then that album won a Grammy, y'all. That album won a Grammy. Yeah. That's right. You know what that means. You know what that means. I don't have to say. <laughs> and then, like, that wasn't good enough. Like, there's two major musical events every year, right? There's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the Grammys, I did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too. Yeah. They told me to, to, to induct the great Paul Butterfield, another one of my musical heroes. I was up there, like Oedipus Rex, doing my thing. And afterwards, Paul Schaefer, he came up to me and he said, Jason, you were so incredible. You, but we had no idea you were going to be that good. And you, you actually ruined the show for all the other artists. 
I said, uh, yeah, man, uh, that's what happens, man. That's what happens sometimes, you know. We get that a lot, you know, we get that a lot. And he said, well, listen, man, maybe uh, you can make it up to me. There's a friend of mine I'd like you to meet that needs some help revitalizing his career, putting some new energy into it. Would you be interested in talking to him? I said, sure, Paul, man, whatever you need out of a moon cat, I will do it for you. He said, okay, let me introduce you to Paul McCartney. <laughs> I said, hey, Paul, man, I'm a, I'm a big fan of your stuff. He said, thank you, Jason. He said, I just want to say, Jason, you were better than every other act that, he's Australian now, by the way. <laughs> you were better than every other act that ever played here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I said, Paul, I was afraid that might happen. I was afraid that might happen. I said, listen, I'd love to sit, chit chat, man, about old records and Beatles tunes and stuff, but I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, I'm taking a piss, and next to me is Stevie Wonder. He looks over, he can see now. Okay, you might not have heard that. He can see. And the first thing he saw was an autographed copy of Songs in the Key of Life. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> but I'm your headline act. 